Good day, my name is Emma Horcha and welcome to another episode of Emma Red. In this episode I will teach you a more effective way of copying and pasting within SOLIDWORKS um, using the Linear Pattern Tool. Now, um, if you would like to learn how to 3D model within SOLIDWORKS, I have an entire playlist. You can go ahead and watch that by clicking the card in the top right hand corner of your screen. To get started, we firstly will click on File in the top left hand corner and then click on New to create our new part. We'll then click on Part and then click on OK. Now in order to demonstrate how this tool works, we'll be designing a cube and then we'll be putting some holes in that cube. Now in order to design our cube, we'll need to specify what plane we want to draw on first. We'll click on the top plane and then click on Normal 2 and then we'll click on the top plane again and then click on Sketch. Now we'll firstly need to draw a, a square and then we'll extrude that square to get our 3D cube. Um, so click on the center rectangle tool and then specify the origin point as being um, the, mid the midpoint and then we can go ahead and drag out to specify our dimensions. We don't need to be specific because we can use the Smart Dimensioning tool. So place that, then hold the right click on your mouse and drag up to get the Smart Dimensioning tool. And then you can go ahead and dimension these lines. I'm just going to make it simple. We'll go 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Now we can go ahead and um, save this sketch by clicking the little arrow in the top right hand corner of your screen and then we can go ahead and extrude this to get our box. So click on the um, extruded boss base tool which is in the features tab on the top left hand corner and then we can go ahead and ext extrude this. So in order to make our cube we'll need um, equal dimensions so let's go ahead and make the, the height 100 millimeters as well. 100, enter. And then click on the little tick to apply our changes. So now we have our cube. Now in order to demonstrate the linear sketch pattern tool um, we'll draw, we'll cut out some holes within this cube on the top face. So hold the right click and drag up to get a top view and then right click on the um, top face and then click on sketch to start sketching on the top face. Now to um, cut cut some holes through this cube we'll first need to draw some uh, circles. So let's go ahead and get the uh, center circle tool which is up here. Then we can go ahead and specify what we want our circle. So let's go ahead and um, draw our first circle which will be in the top left hand corner. We don't have to be exactly accurate because we can go ahead and smart dimension. Uh, now we can specify how big we want this circle by um, holding right click and dragging up to get our smart dimensioning tool and then we can click on the uh, arc of the circle to specify our dimension. So now let's make this the diameter 10 millimeters just for simplicity. Okay, so now we've specified our diameter as being 10 millimeters. Now we can specify um, how far our circle is from the top and the uh, side edges. Side edge. So let's get the smart dimensioning tool out. Let's click on the origin of the circle. Then we click on the top uh, line to get our dimension for that. Specify our dimension for that. Let's make this 10 as well. And then let's do the same thing. For the left edge, specify the dimension, make this 10 as well. So now that we have our circle, an easy way to copy and paste this circle is to use the linear sketch pattern tool on the top of your screen. You can see the linear sketch pattern tool. Click on that and then we'll specify our circle as something we want to copy and paste. And then we can specify how many times we want to copy and paste our circle, so how many holes we want and the space between. So for simplicity we'll make the space between as if we make it 10 then they'll be directly touching so we'll make it 20. Now we can see how many now we can see how many um, holes we can make evenly. So it looks like we can make five evenly spaced holes. So once we've got five go ahead and click on the tick to, to save our copy and paste method. As you can see it's really easy to copy and paste within SOLIDWORKS. You know the instinctive method would be uh, I need to copy and paste this but you could just use the linear sketch tool. So now let's cut our holes. So in order to cut our holes click on the features tab in the top left hand corner and then click, click on extruded cut. So now we have the extruded cut tool. Now we can click on the tick and that should hopefully cut through all our um, cut our cut all our holes. 
as you can see we have five holes within our cube so let's go ahead and make some more holes but this time we'll use the linear pattern tool which is basically the linear sketch pattern tool but it copies 3D features instead of 2D features so let's click on that and then let's specify our, our holes that we want to copy as you can see it's gone all haywire so let's click on the uh, direction we want to copy this we just click on the little box here to specify a direction and then we can click on one of the lines let's click on this line and that'll bring our our holes to the right plane now we need to flip flip our holes in order to get them drawn on our cube so there's two methods of using the linear pattern tool you can either specify the amount of copies you want to make and the spacing between them or you can um, specify a reference and then specify the space between the the um, instances so let's go ahead and specify our reference as being the far edge because we want to copy and paste until this edge and then we can go ahead and specify the spacing between our copies as being 20 millimeters as we did before so now we've correctly copied and pasted our our holes to get um, even an even distribution so let's go ahead and click on the tick to apply our changes and as you can see we've got a cube with 25 holes evenly spaced so that's how to use the uh, linear sketch pattern tool and the linear pattern tool to copy and paste sketch features and 3d features I hope you've enjoyed this lesson today uh, if you have enjoyed the lesson please like and share the video and subscribe uh, if you have any ideas for future videos please leave them down in the comments I hope to catch you in the next video where we will learn how to use the circular pattern tool I hope you have a lovely day bye